What is up guys? It is that Panda Guy. I'm here again with another video and today we're going to be looking at Corporea Magica and this is a decision that a lot of people are faced with, well everybody's faced with, when you start this game. So you basically have to choose a cultivation method and I will say off the bat that you are able to actually, you know, dual cultivate at some point. You know, I think it's once you hit this stage right here, you're able to start going to each cultivation method. I will talk about dual cultivation later in because I do think that there are some aspects where you know it pays off pretty well but you also have to understand that there is a lot that you're going to fall behind on because of dual cultivation but it is kind of fun and you know I do have an account just for dual cultivating because I find it you know to be somewhat interesting and I do want to kind of experiment around with it okay that being said we're going to talk about these so we're going to start with Magicka on the right here. So Magicka values natural laws above all. Abilities focus on elements and spells, good at AoE skills. This cultivation path mainly increases your MP. So for anybody wondering, MP is, you know, kind of just pointing at mana. So MP is basically mana and increasing your mana is good for per, a lot of reasons. So I'll kind of actually show you guys an example of my favorite thing about, um, Magicka, at least at this point in the game. So Magicka, for example, has this spiritual wall or has shield type, you know, uh, effects. And you kind of look at a skill like this. Gain an MP shield equal to 41.70% of your MP lasting for 9 seconds. And, you know, when you kind of compare Corporea to Magicka, let's say this, for example. Let's say if you have 100 um, MP, right, as a Magicka player, well, you're going to be getting way more uh, shield effect compared to someone who maybe has 20 MP as a Corporea player. So obviously this is going to be much more impactful. And not only that, I find it to just be kind of OP because when I'm fighting somebody who is um, actually Magicka, I find it to be very hard, at least at this point in the game, as a Corporea player because if you can't break the shield or you can't, you know, drop the shield in enough time, and especially if they actually have shield type relics, this becomes very difficult against someone uh, of equal strength or someone you're only slightly stronger than right i've lost in a lot of cases to these type of players and i find it really hard as a corporea player to actually beat magicka and i find it way easier at like the same size um, as a magicka player to beat someone who is a magicka player because obviously i have these same effects and i can just make it a battle of endurance and stuff like that but in this case it becomes really hard because even if you are a really good single target type player um, as a Corporean, right? And you have a lot more HP because, you know, you actually focus on this. It's like even if you have more HP, if you can't break through their mana shield, you're going to be at a really big disposition, right? When Once you actually just have all your health tank and by the time you finally drop their shield, you're dead. That's basically the biggest issue I find with Magicka. I will say right here that although I cannot confirm this 100%, I've heard from a lot of older players that Corporea does have kind of a boost of sorts later on that does kind of close in the gap between Corporea and Magicka and make it, I guess, either more fair or Corporea maybe becomes better. But that being said, at least early game, Cor uh, Magicka does come off as an insane, you know, insane freaking... Uh, cultivation method. That being said, I still don't regret completely going for Corporea. I still find it, you know, pretty nice. I I do agree with this single target skill stuff. And I will say there are there are obviously uh, other aspects where Magicka might excel, like even farming mobs. It might do better because of these AoE type skills, which it is more um, specialized in compared to, you know, Corporea. And that could be various, uh, very useful if you're maybe going and farming in another server for SVS, which is server versus server, and you have to get all those points and you maybe speed farm. Whereas like if you're Corporea, you can maybe only focus on one uh, one mob at a time and you know kind of melt those one by one by one. But you know, obviously I wouldn't really look at something like that. I think it really depends on what you're into. And yeah, that being said, we're gonna talk about dual um, cultivation, meaning that you can go back and forth, back and forth between each method, which I am doing in another account. So how I would per how I personally do this is I would break through to nascent soul level for example with like maybe Corporea and then I go to Magicka and then I break through to nascent soul level and I kind of keep these on around the same level. The biggest issue of this is um, it's really that you're going to be using a lot more pills and stuff overall. Not only that, you're also going to be lacking behind people generally, right? Because if I'm focusing on one cultivation method, I should be you know a 
vast amount ahead of you. Like if, if you just hit incarnation stage, I might already be at void break for an example, right? Or I might be incarnation late stage. I will say that the thing is, if you do have dual cultivation and you are able to do this, and let's say you have maybe both of your um, stages at incarnation, if you're early incarnation or maybe even late incarnation, if you find somebody at the similar stage, you're almost always bound to kind of crush them because you have both these cultivation methods, which just boost you like really hard you get you get a much bigger boost and if you meet somebody who has only like focused on one thing but is at the same stage as you it's really hard for these players to kind of overcome this wall that you've built because you have kind of built up a really good foundation but it is still hard for you to kind of beat somebody who's on a higher cultivation level so in a lot of cases i don't find this worth it and if you are to try this i actually would prefer or i would recommend you to try it more so in an all i actually have seen a whale do this before and you know he's doing it right now so I actually have to you know kind of keep a lookout to see how far that gets him and if it becomes really painful for him later game but yeah I am looking forward to that you know and I just wanted to dabble in that a bit and yeah I do appreciate you guys though for watching I hope my uh my my coverage on this kind of gave you guys some light but I do appreciate you guys and that is it to the video so you guys have a good day or night though and I'll see you guys peace